Well, being a mother on a work from home schedule can be a mixed blessing. On one hand, no commute, more flexibility. But on the other hand, more stress from parenting 24 seven. In today's Mental Health Monday segment, CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom takes a look at how to cope with the challenges of working from home. Can you come over here? You cannot give from an empty cup. Yet, like so many working moms, Shalisha Franklin of North Hills strives to be it all. To her employer, a Memphis dance company, to her side hustle. I moonlight as a comedy television writer. And to her two-year-old daughter, Lola. I'm always trying to stimulate her and educate her. Yet, Shalisha has often felt she's falling short. You either feel like you're not showing up for your work or you're not showing up for your child. You can't be fully present at two major elements at the same time. Dr. Sinead Turan is a psychologist in downtown LA. Like Shalisha, she is raising a toddler and working from home. She admits it's a struggle. Your mind has been conditioned all these years to separate work from home. Okay, so there's an automatic conflict. Dr. Turan says it impacts your health when overwhelmed. Your brain is going to that place of putting all of its blood, oxygen, energy, attention, into surviving and the prefrontal cortex where all of the executive functioning creativity you know decision making it's being zapped so then quite literally your brain in the prefrontal cortex actually shrinks which then puts you in a place of feeling a trauma response chronic stress workplace burnout depression anxiety first step to regaining peace set boundaries Stay in consistent communication with your employer. When work and parenthood conflict, the best thing you can do is speak up about it. What's the priority? Because I really only have the bandwidth for one major project. Kids need boundaries too, and a schedule they can count on. Dr. Turan devotes early mornings to her son. That way, he's had time with me. We have breakfast together. And usually he'll say, can I play now? Absolutely. Mommy will be in a meeting. Setting boundaries and a schedule helps your brain compartmentalize. When that happens, you are more able to tap into your creativity, your problem solving, executive functioning, decision making. Though grateful to work from home and be with her daughter, after doing three jobs from one room for 15 months, Shalisha started therapy. I just really could not see my way out of situations. And so having a therapist is, yeah, is oxygen. With Dr. Turan's help, Shalisha learned how to set a schedule, set boundaries, and communicate her needs. Now, as she reaches for new heights professionally, I recognize where my inspiration and my purpose and my drive comes from, and it's her. And it's to show her what's possible in her own life. She'll know that the sky is the limit.